we have got a few unhappy people that we're probably going to have to move here in the upcoming transfer window. Kay Van Essen wants to leave already, and we have an offer for him. Remember, we brought him in on a free, so he's probably out of here. Zach Corbett can definitely leave. We'll need to sign probably another defender uh, if we let him go. And hopefully McNeil is okay. He signed a new contract with us, and we'll probably lose Carpenter. He'll probably get recalled from his loan. But we have West Ham highlights coming up today, and we're taking on Brentford in the third round of the FA Cup. Can we beat a premier side? Let's go find out. Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 5, our football manager, Journeyman Save. We are with our third club, Leicester, and we are on one hell of a run. Taking a look, we have not lost since the Carabao Cup third round to Chelsea, a Premier League side where we lost on penalties, and the only loss this year came second match of the season in the league to Sheffield United. We got the revenge on them in the return leg, 4-2. to two. Since last episode, a 3-1 victory over Hull. We don't need to watch that. A 4-0 clean sheet with a brace from Jordan Mensah against QPR and a 4-2 win over Sheffield United. Robert Cernan making his return with a brace in that one. So West Ham currently sitting sixth in the table. Let's get that played and check out the highlights. We didn't play badly in this one, but we didn't quite play good enough. We gave up another penalty. We've been giving up a lot of those, and they convert on the penalty there. A flick on header. Durand beats Lindorfo in a one-on-one. -on -one. Rollinson gets beaten a little chip over him, and that made it 2-0 in the 63rd minute. And that's how it ended up. Pretty even on shots. We had great possession, but... They definitely had the better XG, and that hurt a little bit. Uh, only our second loss of the season, but you can see we have opened up. We now have a four-point advantage on Everton as they picked up uh, two, lo uh, two losses uh, on the season, same as us, and an extra draw as well. Next up is our FA Cup match. Let's go check that one out. Well, that's certainly some interesting news. Just coming a couple of days ahead of our match, and Brentford has fired their manager, Alexander Averzhanov, and there's a look at him. He was the Ukrainian national coach for three years. Before that, at Dnipro, spent a year at Man United, Anderlecht. So he's traveled around a lot, but a very long head coaching resume. Don't think he'll be out too much. Just out of curiosity, though. Not that we're we're not leaving to take that job. Superb. Uh, our training facilities were finished, so now we're back to being state of the art. Wonder what their expectations were this year. Well, they were picked to finish sixth. Oh, and they've fallen down the table a little bit. They were eighth when we looked earlier. Now they're mid table, just below mid table in twelfth. So that's going to be interesting. Everton does lose, ending their 20-game unbeaten run, but our unbeaten run also ends. You can see we are losing a good bit of money. Luckily, we have a quarter billion dollars in the bank account, but we lost $7.2 this month. And, wow, player salaries are just... Player salaries exceed our total income, which isn't surprising. Evidently, uh, a few rumors of some of our players. Luckily, they don't have a coach yet. I'm sure they have an interim, but, you know, this is the first match since firing him. Pretty solid month. Two of our players finished number two and number three in championship player of the month. I finished second in championship coach of the month. 
Oh, Kevin Day is going to miss the match, it appears, and Nagami is out on international duty. That's troubling. We've got a B rating from the board. Even if I was going to start that backup keeper in the transfer window, I mean, uh, to try to build him up, not off a bad week of training. I wonder if Ammon is going to come in before the match. He's a loney. We get an E grade. He's probably not a... Well, he's 18. Let's see if he's available. All right, we're going to add him to the list. U21s do not have to be registered. We might see him make a debut today with the shorthandedness we are having. I've still got room for two players. But that'll wait till after the match, I believe. All right, we're going to go with Rollinson in goal. McNeil moves out to the left today, rushes on the bench. Felix back on the right. Lindorfo is joined up with Ramsey in the middle. Hensons and Romain. Romain moving to the central mid. He can play there, and he's he's an all-around good player. Hate to lose him out on the wing, though. Andre Stanaklescu and Mensa on the wings. Mikatin and Cernan up top in the strike partnership. Hopefully, that's going to be enough to get us to the next round here in the FA Cup. Brentford in the red, Leicester in the blue. And I don't know what that was, a foul, I suppose. Yeah. Knocked into the box and offsides, thankfully. Oof. 36 seconds and we were a goal down. Thank goodness Sindelar was offsides. Yep, he was. He broke just a touch early. Lucky, lucky break for us. Let's give him some encouragement here in the early going. McNeil. The Hensons. Up ahead to Stanilescu, and he loses it. Poor pass. Smajovic. Tackled away. McNeil's on it. Quick passing. I don't know why we tried that lump out pass. And we're right back on our back heel. McNeil drifts too far inside, possibly forgetting he is left back today. Come on, fellas. Bent Bentavoglio? Oh, it's off the post and an empty netter by Smoljovic. Sixth goal of the season, and we are in a hole. <sighs> Off the woodwork, and then Rollinson was trying to make a save there. Couldn't get to the ball, and it is placed in. Romain is a fitness concern. Not You know, he's going to need a rest, I believe. McNeil, long throw. There's a clearance. Henson's drives in. Felix can't get it through the defense. Took the crack at it. Still looking for our first shot on target. And that play by Mikatin, he tried a through ball and it was not very good. Let's uh, demand more here. Good first touch over there by Smajovic. Good defense. Mikatin finds Stanis Staniklescu. He's on the run. Down the left flank. Tackled away. We certainly like to see a little bit better than that. We are holding possession. I think... All right, let's go into tactics here. I'm going to drop back to positive. And then I'm going to take off run at defense. And let's do a little less on the passing. 
try to be a little smarter with our passing there. Oh, look at the ball movement. Good defense. Felix knocks that away, and we get the clearance. That was fortuitous. Romaine is dragging. Can he do something for us before he has to come off? Because I don't think we're going to be able to leave him on in this one. Oh, there's a through ball. Mensa looking at near post. That was a poor effort. Still, with the way the highlights were looking, I, I think we're in a good point. Uh, let's uh, point the finger. Expect to see a much better showing. All right, Romain is, is back up. He gained a little bit of uh, st st health there. So, so Cernan was giving him some pressure. Henson's, can he do something? Mikatin out to McNeil. There's a cross. The header goes over. We needed a better, better finish than that on that attempt. We just need to get lucky. The header goes right into the path of a Brentford player. They stay on the attack. Good interception by Mensa. Mikatin, he's in. He's he's in on goal. Oh, and that was so poor. We got an offer on him. I turned it down. Oh, he was looking for another ball there. Stanislescu. Bad. Bad. Just bad. McNeil way out of position. Nobody is back helping. And there's a shot. Goes over. All right, you know what? We're going to go ahead and pull Romaine off here. He is tired again. We're going to bring on Matthews. Actually, you know what? Hold on. I do not have a mid left. I'm going to bring Matthews on for Romaine. I'm going to drop Mikatin to Stanoclescu's position. And then we're going to bring on Gomez Santos there. But Mikatin, he's a left footer, so he can play. He can play out there. I like that. We'll do that. Let's see if it can pay off. There's Menza. Misses Matthews on the pass back. Matthews tracks it down. There's Mensa cutting up. A through ball on to Cernan. He can't find the angle. Beats his man, and it's Mikatin moving out to the left wing with his 15th goal. And we will take tactical genius credit for that. What a ball in. Cernan, a good job to just hold it up. Then he took one step, beat his man, and picked out Mikatin wide open on the back side of the goal. That was huge. What an effort. Come on, boys. I'm going to give some praise right there. Try to cheer them up. We're only one shot off of their pace, and we have one more shot on target. Jose Tehran got free on the back side of the goal. Luckily, he was off target with that effort. Let's encourage him. Okay, we've made two moves. We've got a lot of tired people. Mensa, Lindor, well, Lindorfo is still there, but he's on a yellow. Tell you what, I am going to bring McNeil back in for Lindorfo. And then we're going to bring in, uh, I'm going to bring in Corbett. Let's put him in the shop window. Really want to bring Rush in there, but Rush is not at full fitness, it doesn't appear. 
Small Jovich. Oh, he buries a set piece. His seventh goal of the season. That is... Uh, I'm going to go back up to attacking. He just beat the wall and Rollinson could not get a hand on it. Ow. We're going to go back up to attacking. Oh, another set piece. This one goes wide. Knocked away by Rollinson. I think that was on target, too. Small, Small Jovic with a brace today. There's a big clearance, but nobody's up there. Nobody was up there. All right, good defense. Mikatin's on it. Lays it off to Corbett. He makes a run. Cuts inside. Crossed. There's a header. And then it's missed. Mensa shot it wide, but there was an offsides. Okay. Come on, boys. Let's demand more. Another cross. There's a clearance. Henson cannot beat his man to the ball. Cernan making a run. I don't think he got there. And could this be the last hurrah? Mikatin. Corbett almost loses it out of play. McNeil finds Mensa. Felix on the overlap. He tried to play it into the box. It's blocked, and Slavic is on the counter. And there's the full time whistle. And we go down in defeat to Brentford, 2 to 1. Yeah, I mean, they played well. Nothing we could do there. Would have liked a little bit more, but that takes us out of the FA Cup. That's just how it is. So now I need to start looking at transfers. We probably have uh, two or three guys that are going to be departing. Zach Corbett played a 7.2 today, so maybe that'll get some interest for him. Uh, we had Van Essen in goal. He played a 7.3 but gave up two. And, yeah, so those two guys might be have played their last game for Leicester. I want to go ahead and get through the transfer window. Why don't we come back for Nottingham Forest highlights and Luton Town? That'll be our next match. And we can also take care of transfer business in that episode. Guys, have a good one. And we will talk to you later. Please don't forget, hit the like button if you like what I'm doing. And if you want to see more of it, subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell. For reminders for daily football manager content uploaded Monday through Saturday here on the channel. Thanks so much. Appreciate you guys. Have a good one. Bye.